What's up? I'm Mike from RKM. This is our review of the Dollamur Flexi Roll mats. I've used Dollamur Flexi Roll, Flexi Roll, Dollamur Flexi Roll, um, and I'm really pleased. And we want I wanted to do a complete review. This video sucks. What's up? This is Mike from RKM, and this is our review of the Dollamur Flexi Roll mats. I've used the Dollamur Flexi Roll mats in my home gym for the past two years. I've used them in my personal training and kickboxing studio for the past six months. As you guys know, we like to do reviews of equipment that we've had for a while, so that we can give a complete, honest review. This is a section of mats from my home gym. Uh, I brought it so I could show you guys what it looks like rolled up. This is 5 foot by 12 foot, and as you can see, it's extremely lightweight. It's a one-man job to move them. I can roll up three sections of this and strap them together and load them in my truck by myself uh, without a lot of difficulty, and that has been super important if I want to go do some sort of... Uh, training or uh, seminar or some kind of event somewhere else it's very easy to take them places rolling them out super easy you drop them and roll them uh, they're it's a one-man job and that's been crucial uh, to my business and my own training at home rolling them up same way I like to start make sure they're kind of tight you don't want to fold them up too much and crease them but roll them up and you can load them and go it's a one-man job and that's been um, extremely useful both the mats in my home gym and studio are an inch and a half in thickness I went with this thickness because it was right for my needs I'm very satisfied with how much impact they absorb if you're rolling or tumbling or doing any kind of floor drills core work where you're laying down any kind of plyometric stuff they absorb a lot of impact. They're very comfortable. Some places you go and the mats are too hard, and other places the mats are too soft. These are just right. The downside to them being so lightweight, though, is that the back side of them is sort of fragile. The foam, if you let it, it can get chewed up. If you let it snag on things or if you don't pick everything up from underneath it, and can get chewed up pretty easily. But I'd much rather have them be light enough for me to move and roll up and unroll by myself then be more durable on the bottom i got the logo printed on my mats in the studio and we've had it for six months and we have kickboxing class every night and there's no wear and tear on any of the printing even at the some of the sharper corners of the printing uh full disclosure though there was an error in the printing this isn't actually uh how our logo looks there's two white inserts here uh kind of like those they sent me a kit to fix it it was like a stencil and then the paint that you put on and I wasn't comfortable doing that myself he said it was easy but I wasn't trying to put paint down on the mat and they also offered that I could send it back to them they would fix it and send it back to me free of charge uh, but it wasn't that huge an issue so I just opted not to do that I didn't want to put paint on the mats and I didn't want to be without the mats for any amount of time but that that did occur they, they attempted to make it right and I'm, I'm satisfied one little bonus tidbit about these is uh, mine came wrapped in this to protect them. And what this is, is actually the surface of the mats. I guess it's just extra that they use to package them. And that's to protect it. I got one red and one yellow. And they also come with extra sections of flexi roll on the end. And that's to protect them so the straps don't bite into them. And I was able to use that covering and one of those sections and I made a couple of these and this is just a, a section of the flexi roll wrapped in that with electrical tape on it I use them for balance beams uh, and barriers for the activities for the kids class if I want to section off a portion of the mat or if I want to give somebody an obstacle to jump back and forth over for a drill uh, that, that was really convenient I can't say that they'll all come packaged like that but that's how mine came packaged all right, so that's our review of the Dollamur Flexi Roll, Dollamur Flexi Roll Mats. Dollamur Flexi Roll Mats. That's our review of the Dollamur Flexi Roll Mats. We've been very satisfied with our ones at the home gym. We've really satisfied with the ones in the studio. They're lightweight, durable. The ones in the studio are six feet by sixteen feet, and they do have the Connect Velcro. The seams have never been an issue. They don't catch your toe or anything like that uh, once you get them down flush, and they've never come undone. I roll the mats up. All five sections by myself. I unroll them by myself, and it's not like they ever shipped around or anything like that. For cleaning the mats, we use the cleaner offered by Dollamur. It comes in a really ugly bottle, so that, no, that lets you know that it works. 
it says it kills HIV, HCV, and HBV. It's for surfaces soiled with blood slash body fluids. I use it to clean everything. You mix two ounces with a gallon in like a spray bottle. You can use like a, a big sprayer or a little spray bottle. I use it to clean everything in the gym. Uh, we've never had any complaints about it irritating anybody. There's no strong odor, no film. None of my flesh has burned off of my bones when I get this on my hands. But it does say danger, keep out of reach of children. Uh, so keep that in mind. On the Hard to Hurt YouTube channel, as it relates to our gear reviews, we always make sure that we issue a disclaimer about whether or not we paid for the merchandise. We paid full price for our mats at home. We paid full price for the mats in the studio, including getting the logo printed uh, through Dollamer. So we didn't receive any discounts or consideration. But even when we do receive things for free, we always give an honest gear review. So if your gear sucks, don't send it to us. Peace.